What is ever up, everybody? We're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to do the New England Playbook Scheme. This has been my favorite playbook to run all year. I switch it up a lot, but it's been my favorite all year. And we're going to come out with basically two plays that we're going to run. They're both actually stock audible, so you can actually come out with some different. Basically, the two plays we're going to look at, Pat's HB Blast and Pat's Flanker Screen. And these are tough plays to stock because they're almost always going to go for positive yardage. I'm looking at this right here, and I'm looking at that far left defensive back and how he's on Bolden. And the thing we got over there is a Poco route, and watch what happens. Wide open. What? It's a very glitchy route because the defensive back's AI is telling him to play that when he's eventually going to cut in, but if you throw that as soon as he cuts left, it should be. This might get fixed. Oh, no. We're okay. You can see. What else we like is actually the flanker screen here. If you have a good tight end that's speedy, it's going to work perfect. This might actually get stuck. Yeah, I didn't like that look. But I'm going to show you how effective this can actually become. Antoine Bolden and Michael Crabtree, worse blocking. Yeah, it's all right. But they're not going to be playing the screen too often because of the running play, the HP Blast. The HP, oh my god, horrible. The HP Blast is a good run. <laughs> Obviously wouldn't actually run it in that type of defensive run. Also probably wouldn't run it in this defensive run as we're seeing. I'm just getting straight in the backfield. Six, seven in the block. This is when we, this is when we run the HP Blast. When it's open in the box, we're going to run it. Probably should have cut that one to the outside. I think that it fits the person that we got good blocking receivers over here. If we get to the outside, oh, oh, no stick and kill. You get the basics of this. Basically, make the read on what the defense is giving you. We are. Alright, now we're going to tell you why we really, 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 really hate hey, bird. You guys did not know this, it's late in the year and never know what you might know. About ace wing tight end. So two right now, is that right? Bell HP package, number 82, that's actually your third receiver. This is why we like this formation. If you can audible plays, so you're gonna have a tight end, you can get a receiver, tight end spot. Cam right in the spot. A very good play we like to run. That post right there. I like to like out this. I like to go to PA slot post. I like to be on a drag over the middle. It's on a slant over the middle. Our running back on a wheel. We'll smart route Crabtree. Motion him. We got man. When he hang it hung onto the ball. You can see this is a very deadly formation. We can actually stay here. I usually keep all this together. I look I have a first look to see if they're in zone. If they're in zone, we're gonna throw RB or we're gonna throw bullet past the Manningham to the inside. If they're in man. We're gonna wait for that zig to develop. We got here, we got man, or we got zone. Quick bullet pass, user catch. That's not one. one. One thing you get is if you get protection, that Y route is really, really good route. Oh, we got the zone again. Oh! Should have dumped that off to the zig pass, but my reads are the greatest step. Let's see this. Start to the zig, and the thing I like about the zig is your running back eventually becomes a lead blocker for you. Let's see what else we got for good formation. Run ace. Eh, the stock audibles and gun ace really aren't the greatest, so I'm not much of a fan. I think, but. Yeah, that's not too pretty. What else do we got here? Oh! That's a base, pretty basic. If only 
you set up a custom playbook with all this stuff, there's a lot better plays. Right, choose new play. Alright, another trip's tight end. We have uh, actually really, really good uh, stock audibles in this too. What we like to come out in is the HP slip screen. These are all very popular plays. Basically, look at it out with the heck. Come out in the slip screen. Read zone. As you see, it's a makeshift screen. Red zone. If it was man, we would actually throw that to Vernon Davis on the. Uh, And again, that's the one thing about makeshift screens is I always miss that go up. Side. Alright, there we go. We got the zone, bullet pass down, user catch it. Other good plays we have in here. Slot screen. See, I like to put A on on a quick plant. Slant. <laughs> Slant. Or we'll put him on a streak. We're gonna do is wit. Basically, a good running play. Usually, we'll have Crabtree uh, where Patton is. The better uh, run blocker. That might get fit. Yeah, I shouldn't be throwing it to him. The other player we like in this is the fork. But why on a plant over the middle? Davis, we might put on a street for put him on slant, but if we have two people coming over the middle, we're actually going to put him on RP, we'll run block, we'll put him on a wheel route, pushing him, it's man, deep corner route, there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff we can actually do right here. That was open. Sorry if you can hear the birds. Early. See, can I hit that? Ooh, that's close. Oh, get a little leg right there. And you can see very, very good formation. I'm not. Sh I don't ever usually run the off tackle out of here. Let's see how it goes. That's not too bad. All right, let's continue again. I actually did a tip video the other a long time ago about. What formation? Normal wing trips. Is this it? No, that's not it. Normal flex wing. We have that auto motion. That auto motion is actually really good against people that are running uh, man. But you don't see too much man in rank. You see it a lot in Madden 15. Right, now we're, what are we in? East tight slots. I don't run too much stuff out of here. Um, there's players for the most part I run out of here. Corner and goes. Something you gotta learn how to throw these routes. See the X and the B receivers? These are interesting throw. We're not gonna take that, we're gonna take what's underneath, these underneath routes. It's underneath routes. It's a really good short yardage. What kind of random defense is that? Look at that pick. I haven't mastered the timing of those routes because when I usually run this, this is for the tight end, but you learn those I guess they're like a stop and go like extreme route. Let's see if I can hit it. No, you can definitely see it. I like to run that in short yard situations to both tight ends. We got to the... The other play we like in this formation is the PA Clown. If you like the pass, definitely the playbook for you. One thing we can see, we got that Poco route. What we're going to do is see off coverage. We're going to motion him out. Cuts. Ooh, look at that spec cat. See how many times I can run that. Standing good. Oh, look at that to the outside. That wasn't really, you'll never really see that type of in this formation. Let's see what happens if they press. That was 
cover too. Yeah, that's a dangerous throw if they press. It's definitely off coverage. What are you doing over there? Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's that glitch out. Okay, let's see what else we got here from our disposal. And we're gonna go back to tight end, is that it? Yes, yeah, LHP. Okay, we like is the flanker screen. The only thing that sucks, you know you're in a different play because of the upside receiver isn't isn't as close to the line as he was before. He isn't playing in the slot. So you're, you know, your typical receiver is a lot in the doubles formation. Basically the same formation-ish. Really effective plays. You could, there's a lot that you can bring to the table in this. One of our favorite. It's really weird because I'm basically, I don't know, I've I've found a lot of good passing. Side zone is one of my favorite runs to run. The only thing we don't, what do we got in the stock audibles for HB zone? The only thing is, I wish HB zone was the audible you got. The audible down with the third receiver. That would be dirty. <laughs> yeah, the stock audibles aren't too great for that. That's definitely a good play to look into. Right. Now we have a bunch. Probably the most popular play out a bunch. Post route, I usually uh, put Davis on an in. I usually have my best catch in traffic on the A route. It's, that's a hard play for people to stop. Yeah. Hold in on the drag, motion him out, and get the boost. No, he doesn't get the boost on that side. Alright. It's a long ass video. If you made it this far, good for you. Alright, we got a bunch of trail. And the plays again. Right now, this should get the speed boost. This is a very popular play. I'll run it now and then. I'll take a look. Open. Woo! You see a lot of people. That matter. Oh, I didn't throw it in time. And uh, another, I do like. Oh, yep, that vertical. Can I motion him over here? Oh, I can. Yep. See those wheel routes? What will end up happening on passing verticals is. Guys are going to end up coming down on the wheel route of the running back almost every time. Oh, I should have just gave that up right away, but you see the idea. Spot ball. Play. We're basically going to give you everything that's in this playbook. So if you're still here, congratulations. It's trip Y ISO. PA out. The quick hike play is uh, basically for. Bagging and out route. Y on a fade, see how it works. This is our T bagging formation. We want to get that uh, T bag. Unfortunately, Crabtree's T bagging those aren't good. Also, we can run a stock. Why is it going to get open there? Oh, never mind. That was a horrible read, I just did shit. What happens is if you uh, quick hike this, if those out routes aren't going to get pressed if they're pressing you, like that. And then, that's a 15 yard out route, but basically, this is really the only play I run in this formation. That's going to, ooh, Rapture can't hang on to the ball, hey? You guys should have bold in there. All right. It's 
it's definitely it's a much more effective playbook if you're actually running a custom of it. So you can just set your audibles, but hey, you can always get that. Now we're gonna go to probably the best running play in the formation or the game. And basically, when you play a lot of good people, they're gonna baseline their defense in this situation. Nobody on the right side, so you're actually gonna wanna run the stretch to this way. Not everybody baselines. This is a very good running play. Now we got someone out to the right side. Left. Oh, oh, oh. We're gonna stop out of those. We don't. I don't mind this play as a stock audible. If you have a good pullback, it definitely could be effective. And then, one of the other good plays, it's too bad the uh, stretch isn't the stock audible run play out of that. The HP dive. It's alright though. Another good play. Um, where are we at? The AFP slide. A lot of options on this play. It would definitely be a good for a left hand quarterback. I get picked. I'm just throwing it to the you See the uh, two main routes are the X and the Z route. Oh, what a play by him! Yeah. Oh, the receivers hit each other. Let's see, I think you actually want a smart route. One thing I've run into trouble with is receivers run into each other. But great play, and I think we have hit everything that we might possibly want to know about this playbook. This is our, this is our baby, though. Formation is our base. Play. Uh oh, only thing problem with Vernon Davis. He likes to fumble. Alright, if you want, I might go over a couple more playbooks, you know, this year, the most, like, the ones that I think are the most effective, the ones I've ran this year. And, anyways, if you like it, we'll be back on DS Bras.